It is Thursday, and we all know what that means. It's Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> it's time for another episode of Pub Logic. <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> not quite christmas yet but i'm excited yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> inside tinsel town where it's christmas all round, a fest festive production limited is one of the uk's biggest christmas decoration suppliers um they visited its base in cumbwan in south wales <laughs> come on <laughs> um with the Christmas season in full swing, the, co the country is lit up with decorations and illuminations. But there's one town where it's Christmas all round. Sky News visited the base in Comwan, South Wales, uh, which is located on a site measuring 250,000 square feet. That's couch. Tinsel town? Oh no, it's not that. Christmas town? Clean <laughs> your I feel like we look like the mayors of Tinseltown. Yeah, if it's going to be Christmas all year round, then you have to dress up like it. Like, you have to go full whack when it comes to Christmas. It's all or nothing. But... Do, you know, do you know those, um, those like, Spaniard helmets? <laughs> you look like the, you look like the hill from the Grinch. <laughs> oh my god, yeah! And they, like, get stuck at the top. Yeah! Speaking of the Grinch, actually, personally... Watch, if... watch, your, watch your mouth. Personally, if I had climbed up a fucking mountain to get away from people singing and you can hear them singing through the fucking valley, I've got a problem. Yeah, I've gone far enough, to be fair. I've seen a Christmas. I just go further. Bro, that cave is perfect. I know, but like... If they, they, they need to... But if the one thing that you moved away from was the singing, then you need to make more of an effort if it's just you... Like, let them live a little. Do you know what I mean? They wait for Christmas all year round, and they want to sing. I'm on the Grinch's side. But yeah, like, I don't like organised singing, you know that, but I just think... It's just not fair. Like, go away. Let them have I per fun. I personally just think that the Grinch is just living his life. Listen, I saw a tweet, and it's... He's economical. He's very resourceful. He's saving the planet by eating garbage. He's a pet owner. And he's also pretty nice for, for how he's been treated. So, if I was to give him a loan, I would give it to him. I would tick him off. Yeah, I, I like the Grinch, but it's, uh, this, this could be controversial. And I'm reversing to my own statement where I said, watch your mouth. I need to watch my own mouth because I'm going to contradict everything that I was thinking. Get a grip. It's all because the Grinch. He, yeah, because he just tried to shave his beard and they took the piss out of him a little bit. That's school. People have gone through a lot worse in school. That was the only thing that was on record. Huh? You don't know what else they were doing to him. Well, it was the only story that he recounts. And if she loved him truly, she wouldn't have gone and married the mayor of Whoville. She's a literal fucking gold digger. What's her name? What's her name? I don't know. I want to 1v1 her. What's her name? <laughs> uh, Mary Lou? Yeah. Mary I'm not sure. Martha. Martha May. Martha May, bitch. Honestly, you if you if you. Hey, he moved away. Um, if she lived in deep down to her core, she would have backed him right from the off. Oh, sad. She was a child. You know, I don't care. Moral start at a young age. <laughs> At a really young age. And usually, the younger you are, the less kind of divided you are about these kind of things. you got a friend, you're going to back him. She loved him and she got, like, wanted to get back with him, but she sacked him off for the mayor. But the bully! Moved, she moved away! She went and boned the bully instead. Like, it's not fair. Do you get where I'm coming from? I get where you're coming from. I still back the Grinch. I'm talking about Martha May now. I feel like she is a villain. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's, it, 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 yeah. I feel like Christmas is the villain. No, Christmas is never the villain. I think Christmas is the villain. Well. None of this would have happened without Christmas. No, none of this would, would have happened without the fucking mayor of Whoville or wherever they live. Actually, the wind is the villain. 
Because the wind blew him in the wrong place. The Look, very he, beginning of the story. He wouldn't have had a film made about him if, if that hadn't happened. But he wouldn't have had a traumatic life where he had to eat glass. He likes glass. Only because he has to. No, that's the whole point. He's different because he likes glass and garbage. <laughs> you agree with me a little bit. <laughs> were, the people, were the people that took him in supposed to have baby? I don't know. Also, are they sisters or are they lesbians? Is that the only two things you could be? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the things that I'm delivering in my head. Could they not be two friends? Two roommates? Well, they could be, but in my head, they're probably either sisters or lesbians. Because you don't really tend to, at that kind of age, live with your best friend and raise a child with them. I think they're a couple. Yeah. Maybe that's what the LGBT, the G stands for Grinch, because the Grinch does a lot for homosexuality. <laughs> Lou, Grinch. I remember the dog bark. <laughs> what was the name of the dog? Sam. I think it's Sam. You know, saying a word in his in, in the accent doesn't make it. Like... I'm, I'm pretty sure his name's Sam, though. <laughs> you went, <clears throat> Mary Lou. <laughs> I have to get into character to remember the names. In that little scene, right? I don't know if you'll know. When they're hosting a party, when he gets dropped off mm. originally. Are they all putting their keys in a bowl? Are they having an orgy? Probably. There's something about that scene that's never sat right with me. And I thought it'd be like one of those things that, you know, like The Simpsons, when you get older, you understand the jokes. I was kind of waiting for that to happen, but I think it might just be something innocent that I've made derogatory. I think when I thought derogatory... <laughs> I don't think that was the right word. <laughs> Do you mean sexual? <laughs> yeah, not that word. Dirty. No. <laughs> I think when I first saw it, I thought that they were all drinking, so they put their keys in a bowl. Oh, that would make more sense. Why? Do, do they do that at orgies if they put their keys in a bowl? No, I've never been to one. Next up on Charge. <laughs> <laughs> you look a bit like Christmas Elmo. You look a little bit like the held emo. <laughs> That's got fridge. <laughs> I got your picture. We're going to move into our next section, which is our pub logic section of the evening. Can I ask you a question? You may. Would you rather be Rain? Uh, would you rather? Why am I incapable of saying the name Rudolph? Would you rather be Rudolph, or would you rather be one of the other reindeer? Hmm. Because I like the idea of like having a light up nose and being like the little ringleader. But you get left out a lot. And like you have your little cool arc in a story, there's a lot of pressure. I think I would like to be another one of the other reindeers. And I imagine there's a lot, but like a lot of bitching going on, a lot of jealousy. I think I'd like to be like Rudolph, and then the first one of the first two. I want to be chilling at the back. It feels like I'm at the back of the bus. <laughs> yeah, but no, you're the closest to Santa. Yeah, you can have banter with him. I don't think Santa's bantering on Christmas. I think he's being very, very... He's, he's in serious but Santa imagine, mode. Imagine at the end of the night. At the end of the night, you've, you've worked you, blood, sweat and tears all together. Like, you're in the little pack with Santa. You're not trotting off at the front with Rudolph. Like, you're just at the back. You might clip the sleigh a few times with your hoof. Yeah. And then, like, I feel like you'd be the first one to get a good pat on the back from Santa. Yeah, but wouldn't you get whipped? I feel like the whip kind of extends over the first two. It's like... How many are there? Eight. No, but I, in, 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 the way that it, in the way that I think that it works, the back ones are like back wheel drive. They get whipped and they drive the sled forwards. So they're the strongest ones because they have to do the initial pull. And then the next set are the ones that are like, they set the pace. So they set the pace for everybody else. So the back two are like, right, move. Yeah. And then the front two are like, right, let's go. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then the next set are the ones that are like... It's okay, everyone. We're just going to take it calm. The like, motivators. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're the ones that are really going for it. Mm. And then the front two, like the ones behind Rudolph, are the ones that are like, 
they just put a spurt of speed in. They're the sprinters. Like, they keep a, they keep a lookout too. Yeah, they're they're going they're going straight in. Like and they, they, they the, hear it. They like pick up the slack for Rudolph at the yeah. front as well. Because Rudolph, I don't think he's working that hard. I think no. he's being pushed along. Yeah, but he is being like, navigator. Yeah, like keeping the light and stuff. I I would solidly want to be the back two. One of the back two. Mm. Like I'm putting in a shift. I feel like the back two would be like the props. Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> It's like a scrub. Oh my god! It's such a backwards scrub. Rudolph is eight. <laughs> Rudolph is eight. I am Rudolph. It's me. You're just there to direct. You don't really have to push. Yeah. This is a revelation. This the makes back, sense. The back two are like props, and then Santa. Santa's the scrum half. Yeah. Just takes the presents out and just chucks them. The ball. The audience of the children waiting for it to happen. That's the goal. And the, like every time you get a present down the chimney, that's the point. But then who in your opposition? The wind. The snow. Non believers. Yeah, I think it runs a little bit on Christmas spirit. Mm. So that's what the props really have to do. That's what the motivators do. Mm. they're just like shunning away the bad yeah. Christmas spirit they're just like they're on the ride they're just like heads turned out just like spurting out Christmas spirit consistently yeah. <clears throat> who do you think would win a pack of reindeer pulling or a like scrum. a scrum of humans well I saw um, that the I can't remember what team it was but a men's team one in a scrum against an F1 car, and they're about like so many horsepower. Horsepower though, reindeer kind of close to a horse, based around their power, and they've got Christmas spirit on their side, mm. and they've got Santa to direct them, and they've got Rudolph. So they they've technically got one extra person. Yeah, but are they are they, so, the the rugby team are hooked hooked, hooked up. Yeah. This, are they pulling against the sleigh as well? Or is it just the reindeer? Just the reindeer, I think. So they're hooked up to the reindeer and they're going either way or they're pushing towards each other. So, like, the... the... Hmm. How would you work that one out? I mean, maybe I would be on a diagonal. Because when, when, they, when they were going up against the F1 car, they were pushing. They would have to push, yeah. They would probably push, yeah. yeah. They would push against each other. But they, you couldn't really push against a reindeer like a human, so you'd have to like put something in between them. Yeah, maybe I mean, like maybe like a like one of those scrum machines. Yeah, I think you could because also if you you're so used to pulling the weight of the sleigh and Santa. Yeah. He's a hefty guy. And the presents. I feel like the initial push you would get would be insane. Yeah, I think that I do. I do think the reindeers are winning. To be honest, I think the reindeers would win. Yeah. Hundred percent. Unless it was like a Christmas a Christmas rugby team. Yeah. Like, a t- or, or like, or like, or like the elves rugby team. They'd be pathetic. I don't know. They'd be good with their hands. But they'd yeah, be very fast passes. Yeah. I feel like reindeer is the forwards and elves is the backs. Yeah. Could, could take a lot of teams down. That's a solid team, actually. Yeah, for Christmas. And they're going up against, like, like the Valentine's Day cards and, like, the Easter Bunny shit. Yeah, like the, the, the Easter Bunny's little like minions and like some some of the leprechauns from St. Patrick's Day. I think the Easter Bunny would be fierce though. Yeah. Like an Easter Bunny you would enter into a boxing match and you wouldn't have to fix the fight. It would win. Yeah. No, but the Easter Bunny and Santa are the coaches. Yeah. Like they're like team managers, so they're only on yeah. the side. But they're like they're both like ex players. Like but like legendary ex players. Yeah. So like they're like I don't know, like Peter Crouch. Football, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like, well, Anton Dupont. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I feel like Santa and Joe Marla have a lot in common. Yeah. So uh, Santa is like the Joe Marla of the Christmas world. Crafty Clark would be the he- would be like the scrum half of the elves. T- yeah, <laughs> he so would. He so would. <laughs> this is so fascinating. <laughs> I'm, ju- I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> I feel like it would be cool to put it into like a sketch. We come up with so many good ideas for films. Yeah. Copyright. Trademark. Little TM. Little scene in a circle. 
So I don't have to say to you. <laughs> that would be stunning though, imagine. I think that would like, that would make such a cute Christmas ad like Christmas advert. But just like brawls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. just like like them all getting ready, they're like yeah. like the, the elves team are like making like the, the like boots and the scrum yeah. hats. Like. Yeah. yeah, that is a really solid idea. Actually. Getting strapped up, like <laughs> But not for John Lewis, it'd be something for more like like a whiskey brand or something. Maybe for like rugby, for like like no, it'd be Guinness, Guinness. It would be a Guinness advert. Yes. It would so be a Guinness advert. Oh my god. Maybe we should email them. I think we should just call them. I think we should. But we'll have to wear our hats. Yeah. And get the lanyards on. I feel like we could break into Guinness with the lanyards on. Agreed. With with the we've got the beanies, I've got the gloves, you've got the gloves as well. Yeah. I've got the the pin. No one's gonna question Wait, us right. if we walk in there like that. No. It must be done. I also just think you were talking about these hats. <laughs> no, we're <getting> these hats. <laughs> these, these can be for when we give the brief. Yeah, th- these are our directorial hats. Yeah. <laughs> My fringe! <laughs> That's what I said to you. Justice for the old bell. I don't know where it's gone. I think it's been thrown out. I think we need to find that because that's like... I wanted to do a Christmas snack, but I didn't find anything. Fixing blankets? No. So instead, we've got tzatziki. <laughs> the fuck is that? Why you put so much in it? I got excited. <laughs> I thought maybe you would have like a moment of courage and just neck it. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> This is something that goes on kebabs. Um, it's I think it's like a Greek condiment. T- tzatziki. Yeah, tzatziki. What's the one thing on a Christmas dinner plate that you wouldn't eat? <laughs> Not follow your Twix. This is nowhere near as bad as anything you've ever tried. Okay. But it's like probably one of the nicest ones, apart from chicken. Oh, that chicken was awful. <laughs> <laughs> that chicken was one of the worst ones. I would say that the last week's was like, I would say like a nine. This is maybe like a three. Okay. It's really not bad. I want to make a TikTok where I rank the worst, the best. You <laughs> should. Ones. You should. More than that. It's pathetic. I'm just sitting on your hand. Okay. Uh, you just wiped it off. <laughs> I don't like the little bits. It's part of what it is. You've got to try it in its whole self. I've got a drip, all right. See? <sighs> I know exactly when you're going to do it now. I just did it in sync with you. <laughs> My taste buds need a second to like register it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. <laughs> that tastes exactly like it smells. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Pub Logic. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and follow us on Spotify because Miss Stella Leone Web has got them uploaded. Oh, I thought you were going to say I've like achieved something. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> it took us a hot sec. We're nearly at 2K on YouTube, so fingers crossed we'll be with you when we hit it. Make sure make sure to subscribe and send it to a friend. Yeah, because 45% of you aren't. <gasps> Challenge this week. If you watch this, you have to send it to a friend. And then they have to subscribe too. Have a good list. <laughs> <laughs>